So, today is the 1st of May, and it is uh, summer-like out there. 92 degrees outside and 67 in here. Isn't that amazing? That's what a concrete floor will give you, an insulated building with a concrete floor in the summertime. Um, it's not going to stay this warm for very long. In fact, just today it sounds like. But Anyway, a um, little update here. I uh, had a little mishap last week. I was uh, working on uh, these supports up here, and I was standing up there trying to take screws out of that horizontal board there and get it a little more horizontal. I was going to move that that uh, tie, uh, top tie up there, I was going to move it up where it's supposed to be. And anyway, I slipped and fell. I had crappy shoes on and drill driver in one hand and you know, I was going to try to push the, the wood in because the screw head was not coming out of the wood, you know, as, as I withdrew it. And so I got the drill in one hand and pushing on that with the other hand and balancing on these things and I slipped and literally went head over heels, fell on my back, hit my back on one of these frames here, and I threw my back out, dinged myself up, pulled the thumbnail off my, not entirely, but pulled the thumbnail up on my right hand and so it was bleeding and Injured a couple fingers in my right hand, and and then I did this. Got about a five-inch long gouge there, which isn't in itself such a big deal. But I, at one point, it went all the way down to the bone, and now I got a hole in my leg where you can see the bone through it. And it's been five days now, and it doesn't seem to be closing up, so I don't know what's going to happen with that if I have to go to the hospital and get something done to it or what. But, but my back, just now today, it's Saturday, and I did this on Monday, and it's Saturday now. My back is, is back to being to the point where I can do a little bit of work. Yesterday, it was feeling a lot better, and now today, I'm, I'm actually back to work again. Um, so I've got the, the timber here for the, for the stem and uh, I got it laid out. I made a pattern for it. I'm not sure what I did with the pattern. I guess I laid it over here. But I made a pattern for it. Yeah, it's laying over there on top of that piece of cardboard. That's the pattern. And I got it copied off on both sides. I used my big 10-inch <clears throat> circular saw to, to get this cut here close. This was just a test cut. And I used a chainsaw to hack this off just really roughly, and I got lucky here. I almost went down too far, but, but it, I'm all right. This knot isn't very well placed either, but I think it's going to be all right. So I got a ways to go yet. Um, I need to cut, cut this off and then cut this out, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that either. I'm guessing maybe just a handsaw. And I don't know. I've been using the the power up the hand power plane to get this down a little closer and I don't know if I should use my turbo plane here or just what exactly I should use don't know but anyway I'm working on this and, and I'll get this I mean this isn't this is all cosmetic here um, you know from, from here up is support structure <clears throat> So we'll work on that. We'll get her. We'll get her there. Um, and I'm almost ready to order an engine. Um, I kind of decided on the Beta Marine, the 85T. It's a turbocharged, uh, but I don't think it has after coolers or intercoolers or anything like that. It's pretty lightly turbocharged. So I've been talking to the dealer for last week, all week actually, we back and forth a number of times and. Um, go with a big house alternator, a second alternator. So it's got two alternators on it. Um, and I'm going to go regular water cooled. I don't know, I, I've been going back and forth between 
between exhausts and cooling systems and you know whether I should go to keel cooler and a dry exhaust and I don't know the problem with the dry exhaust is it takes a lot of room up in the boat because you have to have an insulated pipe going up there and it's actually more expensive than a wet exhaust too I mean it does alleviate some problems but I don't know I'd kind of almost made up my mind earlier I guess I was gonna go with a wet exhaust because I, I when I laid out the fuel tanks I left myself I don't know 10 or 11 inches here so I can put a uh, a through hull above the water line there and put a North Sea exhaust system in so it'll have to have a water lift muffler sitting down in here somewhere and, and it's going to need a riser on the on the engine to get the engine up to get the the exhaust coming up high enough it needs to get above the water line a minimum of so many inches <clears throat> and then it'll drop back down into that into that water lift and, and then out so uh, I haven't got a whole lot done this week on boat because my back has been just <clears throat> ungodly sore so hopefully my leg heals up I don't know we'll give it until next week and see if that hole starts closing up or if I have to go to the hospital and get something done to it. Anyway, but that's uh, that's where we're at as of May 1st.